Sometime after the first revelation to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala commanded and obligated the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to publicly preach and proclaim his message. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala tells the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the beginning of Surah number 74, which we call Surah Al-Muddathir, Ya Ayyuhal Muddathir, which literally refers to somebody who is sitting wrapped up in a shawl. قُمْ فَأَنذِرْ وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ Stand up and warn the people and proclaim the greatness only and solely of your Lord. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obligated the Prophet sallallahu that you must now take your message public. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also commanded the Prophet sallallahu through the verse of the Qur'an, وَأَنذِرْ عَشِيرَتَكَ الْأَقَرَبِينَ And warn the closest of your tribe's people. So there's a remarkable narration that's found in Sahih Bukhari and the other books of Hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ gathered all the people at the mountain of Safa. Safa and Marwa, that's the place where we do the Sa'i when we go for Hajj and Umrah, the two mountains that we walk and jog between. So Safa, where we start the Sa'i from, the Prophet ﷺ gathered the people of Mecca there and he stood up there and there was actually a custom at, a, at that time that when someone would stand there at the mountain of Safa and address the whole community, that was an indication and the sign of there being an emergency. So the Prophet ﷺ stood there and he called out to the people and the people gathered and congregated, the Prophet ﷺ had this reputation of as-sadiq al-ameen. He was truthful, he was honest, he was a man of integrity. He had never lied or spoken falsehood to anyone ever. And the Prophet ﷺ started to speak to them and he said, if I was to tell you that there is an enemy, there is an army approaching on the other side of this mountain, what would be your reaction? What would you do? How would you respond? And they all said that we would be concerned, we would be worried, we would take the threat seriously and we would try to make preparations. The Prophet ﷺ said, if that is the case, then I'm here to warn you about something that is so much more serious and severe. And that is that the life of the hereafter is real. We will all die one day, we will be resurrected, and we will have to answer for our deeds, and we will be held accountable by the only one true God, the only one worthy of our worship. And I am the messenger of God bringing this message to you. The Prophet ﷺ said that, and immediately there was a backlash and people responded very viscerally and negatively and key amongst them was Abu Lahab, which we'll be talking more about in a later session. But they rejected this message from the Prophet ﷺ. But the key point is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obligated the Prophet ﷺ that now is the time to take your message to the masses, to the public, to the community, the Prophet ﷺ responded with this vigilance. The Prophet ﷺ was tireless. The Prophet ﷺ was dedicated and devoted. He went from home to home, person to person, street to street, talking to the people, preaching to the people. Anyone who was willing to listen, the Prophet ﷺ would engage them. People who would come to him with their questions and curiosities, he would answer their questions. He would engage them and respond to them and give them his time. The Prophet ﷺ expended himself in the preaching of this message. Once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put that responsibility on him, so much so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet ﷺ, not once, but twice in the Qur'an, لَعَلَّكَ بَاخِعٌ نَفْسَكَ That, take it easy. It seems as if you are going to wear yourself out. You're going to wear yourself down. أَلَّا يَكُونُ مُؤْمِنِينَ as out of concern for why these people do not believe. إِلَّمْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِهَذَا الْحَدِيثِ أَسَفًا That you are so sad and concerned about these people not believing that you are wearing yourself out. And that was the effort, the sincerity, the devotion, the dedication, the commitment, the steadfastness that the Prophet ﷺ had to preaching and teaching the message of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Send his peace and blessings, peace and blessings upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our goal and objective here at Qalam is to make the knowledge and the understanding of Islam 
as accessible as possible to as many people as we can. Alhamdulillah, we hope and pray that this video was of benefit to you and that you benefited from the knowledge and the understanding shared here. Continue to help us reach as many people as possible and share the knowledge of our beautiful religion worldwide by going to supportqalam.com and becoming our partner in these efforts.